Hi, welcome back. I'm Professor Ronald Vincent M. Santiago, and uh, today we'll be discussing Module 12, Problems on Case 1, Unloaded Generators Considering the Single Line to Ground Fault. Now, this is an example of a uh, single line to ground fault wherein there is a fault at point F. In the diagram, we have two or one generator and two transformers and a transmission line. So the fault point is uh, located at the end of the transmission line connected to transformer T2 on the Y grounded side of the transformer T2. <clears throat> so a single line to ground fault occurs at point F. Assume, assuming zero fault impedance, find the phase currents in the line, assuming that uh, the voltage at the generator is equal to 1.0 per unit. <clears throat> so these are the given uh, data for generator. The positive reactance is equal to 40%. The negative uh, reactance is 40%. The zero sequence uh, reactance is 20%. For transformer T1 and T2, the reactances are equal, equal to 5%. For the transmission line, the reactances positive and negative uh, sequence 15%. The zero sequence uh, reactance is 35%. So note all reactances are in per unit of a common MBA base. So meaning all the uh, reactances are adjusted already based on a common MBA base. Now. Considering the location of the vaulted point, we can now uh, redraw the positive sequence network following this one line diagram. So this uh, represents now the positive sequence network. So we just uh, place there the positive sequence adaptances, likewise the, the generator, and uh, indicate the location of the vaulted point. In this case, we call it as F1. Now this uh, positive sequence network can be represented by an equivalent Thevenin uh, circuit. You have the, the terminal F1 and the neutral uh, reference N1. <clears throat> you have the, the, the generator value, one per unit. J.6 is the sum of all the impedances in that uh, positive sequence network. And uh, you have the uh, BA1 measured between the neutral point and the vaulted uh, point F1. So note that in that uh, positive sequence network, IA to the transmission one uh, line is not equal to the uh, generator current IA flowing to that generator, but it will be equal to the current flowing to the vaulted point F1. <clears throat> For the negative sequence network, so similar uh, connection or pattern to the positive sequence network, but without the sources. So we just uh, indicate that the uh, negative sequence adaptances of all components in the system and uh, determine its uh, Thevenin equivalent. Now notice that the current flowing through the transmission line I2 L in that negative sequence is equal to the current flowing to the vaulted point IA2, but it is not equal to the current flowing to the generator. So it is not equal to I2G. For the zero sequence network, <coughs> this is how it is uh, drawn. We need to consider how the transformer is connected to the system. And uh, in this case, uh, it is uh, connected uh, in uh, delta y grounded, so we need to uh, get now the Thevenin equivalent of this zero sequence network. So notice that the current flowing to the transmission line I O L for the zero sequence network is not equal to the current flowing to the vaulted point F zero, and I A G. IA, IA zero G is equal to zero since it is hanging. 
Now, how it is uh, interconnected, these uh, three sequence networks for this uh, sing single line to ground fault? Now, notice that uh, the currents are flowing are equal, IA1, IA2, IA0 are equal based on our computation. The interconnection of these three sequence networks will be in series. So, we now have IA0 equal to IA1 equal to IA2 equal to 1.0 divided by the sum of these sequence lactances. 0.6 plus 0.6 plus 0.044 and that gives us a magnitude of uh, negative J 0.804 per unit. So these are the sequence fault currents flowing through the faulted point. Now converting this uh, into phase current, the phase fault currents will now be equal to for IA equal to 3 times IA0 equal to negative J 2.411 per unit. Whereas for IB and IC, this will be 0. Now for sequence currents in the transmission line, IA1L is equal to IA1 equal to negative J 0.804 per unit. IA2L equal to IA2 equal to negative J 0.804 per unit. But for IA, IAOL, that is equal to IA0 multiplied by the quantity J uh, rather 0 0.05 over 0 0.05 plus 0.4. So that is using a current divider principle. Equal to negative J 0 0.089 per unit. So having this uh, sequence currents in the transmission line, we can now solve for the phase currents in the transmission line. IAL is equal to IA0L plus IA1L plus IA2L. And that gives us negative J 1.696 per unit. For the uh, current IBL, that will be equal to IAOL plus A squared, IA1L plus A, IA2L. That gives us J 0 0.714 per unit. ICL, that is equal to IAOL plus A IA1L plus A square IA2L and that gives us J 0 0.714 per unit. So that ends our module 12. See you in the next module.